it looks like mine, but uh, it's not. It's got the door in the front. It's pretty cool though. Good morning, everybody. This is my first full day in Tucson. I am going to uh, run to the grocery store, pick up a few things I need. I need to get some supplies and uh, plan the rest of my Turn left onto South Hope my Road. day. Sorry for my, you know, my GPS is telling me how to get to a safe way from here. But yeah, I'm staying in a a paid, uh, you know, I'm paying for my stay here, full hookups and uh, everything. And uh, it got down to 26 last night. I dripped my faucets and uh, and funny thing about about seven o'clock the dripping stopped and uh, I had a nervous breakdown thinking, on South Road for three quarters of a mile. thinking I had busted my pipes but uh, thank goodness it was frozen at the source <laughs> yeah, the, the spigot was uh, was frozen there I checked out my water I turned my water pump on I did have a full water tank so uh, water did work didn't have any leaks didn't have any blowout so uh, I could breathe a little easier and I eventually it warmed up enough it's 42 degrees now and it eventually uh, started running water again and so it's all good just uh, trying to get my bearings around here it's been a long time since I've been to Tucson you know that so uh, just uh, just kind of checking things out and getting a lay of the land not gonna do much today uh, tomorrow's gonna be much warmer, so I think I'm gonna ride down to uh, I don't know, ride ride down to a quarter mile. Take the ramp to I-10 East. I can't hardly talk over. But anyway, I'm trying to plan on going to Tombstone tomorrow, and then from Tombstone, I'll probably uh, I might hit a couple other places along the way. Take the ramp to I-10 East. And, and head back, it'll be a full day tomorrow. Today I'm just kind of hanging around the, the trailer and... Continue on I-10 East for four miles. The cantina showed it's gonna be open at 11 o'clock, but by 10 there was still nobody, no, no management there, no workers there, so I figured that was a lie. Maybe this weekend they'll be open up. I was told by the by the camp host that uh, we will have uh, uh, food trailers, food trucks uh, there this weekend. So that's gonna be fun. I mean, I'll get to hit some, you know, maybe some good food there and not have to go too far. Um, but yeah, I'm just getting on the interstate. I'm heading out toward, uh, actually toward Wilcox, but I'm not going that far. I'm just going a few miles on the interstate. And, Try to find me a grocery store and maybe a place to eat. Either a late breakfast or an early lunch, one of the two. So. Oh, they got these chaya cactuses all through here and you do not want to run into one of those. They will hurt you. I got hurt by one one time. Years ago, never forget it. I had over probably a hundred of them prickly things stuck in the back of my leg. My mom had to pull out one by one by a pair of uh, tweezers. They were in there a good eighth of an inch. I don't even know how I did it. Didn't even feel it until I looked down at it. In two miles, take exit 279 for Wentworth Road toward Colossal Cave Road. Colossal Cave Road? That's a place I can go see, too. But there as a kid, pretty impressed. You know, it wasn't exactly a, um, you know, Carlsbad Caverns, but remember it pretty distinctly as a kid you know it was a hideout for a lot of the uh, Western outlaws back in the day I do remember that heck yeah I might
might give me a little lunch or a little late breakfast and maybe just go on over there. We will see. I will keep you posted. All right, my GoPro battery crapped out again, so I gotta use this. So it's gonna be a little bumpier through here, but I gotta play this some videos through here because it's just very, very, very pretty drive to Colossal Cave. <coughs> Add a little a little more asphalt to the it gets hot here I'm sure it's messes up asphalt because it gets in the 120s 110s Open the range, I gotta look out for cows. I just had to turn the camera on because it is mountains are beautiful through here. I'm on Colossal Cave Road, so Figure all I would have to do is follow the sun, so now we'll be there. Colossal Cave Mountain Park, so I might be doing a little bit of mountain climbing. A lot of the Western outlaws at the time used Colossal Cave as a hideout. And it's been many, many years since I've been to Colossal Cave, but I've been a couple of times. I'm excited. I hope it's open. I didn't even check to see if it was open or not, but I see why it wouldn't be. And it was not. I'll come back. It's a nice drive anyway. Boy, there's a lot of saguaro cactuses through here. Big ones, too. I mean, big ones. Gate ahead. Well, we'll see, soon see if it's open or not. It appears the gate is open, so I shall continue. Can't wait to get up there and take some video, take some pictures and videos. It looks like there's extremely scenic views. <coughs> <coughs> Cave is up this way. I'm getting excited. I think it's a perfect day to see this because the temperature inside the cave never change. They stay the same. So. Climb the hill. Yeah, but it 
8 a.m. So yeah, I think we're gonna be all right. Yeah, there's some cars here. <coughs> Excellent day. here check out the views from colossal cave mountain park I don't want to get too close to this plant right here because if you see right here what will happen to you if you get too close. <laughs> I almost walked right into that son of a gun. Yeah, this was just a spur of the moment deal here. And I'm kind of glad I decided to come through here. Look at this views now. Beautiful through here. Big old saguaro cactuses. We're only just a a hop skip from Saguaro National Park. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, here's the, my next. My tour is not going to be until one o'clock, so yes, I, am. I will. I'm going to go check this nature trail out, <clears throat> and uh, something I was going to do anyway. So, get a little hiking done. I might be able to get into the 12 o'clock, she said. So I got, I'm in a hurry. I can wait here, just enjoy the views and until one o'clock. It's just, it's not quite two hours. So let's go take a walk. It's not like I'm walking, gonna walk through. Uh, Carlsbad Caverns. It's not that long. A... So, why not? Walk amongst the. And the saguaro cactuses are beautiful over here. There were some some of those in quartzite, but there weren't that many oh. This is this is the coolest thing. It's just uh seeing all the cactuses that I used to love to look at. Wow. 
watch your step going down these hills. Oh, I must. I must walk up. You know that. I'm in hog heaven right now, guys. You just don't know how good this makes me feel. <clears throat> these are these saguaros here are huge. They're just massive. And that's where you go in to the cave. We got a nice little gift shop. I know I'll be buying a couple of stickers from them. This is very cool. It's not a long nature trail, but I think the walk up is going to get my blood pumping a little bit. <clears throat> just have to be real careful. And there are certain plants you just do not want to touch. You read me? <clears throat> All right, I'm going to start my ascent. And I don't want you to hear me breathing heavy. Hey, my tour got moved up to 12 o'clock, so I don't have to wait till one. And we're about to go in here in a little while. So, outstanding. I don't mind waiting here, though. This place is so scenic and beautiful, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you.
little disc here is called the cathedral room because I guess that's the biggest thing they could think of way back when. And also, you know, the nice acoustics. So if you ever want to sing in the cave, I recommend being down here. But that's not the only cool thing in here, and that's not the only reason why it's called the cathedral. There's also the four nuns. You might see them praying in like a little circle. If you don't see anything, don't worry, that's okay. Cave formations are kind of like clouds. So it's like some people see them, some people don't. But it is there. But it also brings in to Frank's living room. I'll give you guys one guess as to why it's called that. Nothing? That's all right. All right, I'll just tell you. So he lived down here most of the time because that gift shop that you guys checked into upstairs used to be his house. Now, there was no AC and there was no heater. And so in the summers, it got really hot. And in the winters, it got really cold, you know, for Arizona. And so what he did was he actually took his family down that hole that you're looking at, sir. And they were pelled down into here. And they took lawn chairs and sleeping bags and games. And they stayed down here because it's 71 degrees all year round. That is this all candle wax. It's like everywhere. Yeah, so we know that they had lots of candles. But this also brings me to the fried egg. Now, this was a stalagmite that was, you know, broken off, but you can actually see kind of um, how old it is, a little bit. Kind of like uh, rings on a tree, except with this one, it shows the wet and dry periods. Now, the light color is the wet period. The dark color is the dry period. So wet, dry, wet, dry, wet, dry. Now, you can't actually date a stalactite or a stalagmite this way because you would actually have to carbon date it which means you would drill into the center and take out like a three inch wide piece of the core and that would completely destroy it. So we just kind of guesstimate. Yeah, I enjoyed Colossal Cave. Of course it, as a kid, it had a, you know, a more effect on me as an, than as a, an adult, you know. I think this was probably the first cave I ever went into. So, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Uh, Carlsbad Caverns had to be the first cave I ever went into. But uh, it's just uh, the views over here are almost overwhelming. It's beautiful here. If you like desert, you have found the place. Mountain, desert mountains. I can't wait to go to Mount Lemon. It's hot in that cave. It stays a regular 71 degrees there. And I was way too overdressed. That was a lot of fun. I planned to go, but I didn't know I was going today. It's one less thing I have to go see before I go. And it was much, much worth the view inside and out. says on the sign till we meet again you will see me here again I'm gonna come back through here and go to Saguaro National Park just drive through uh, probably won't be today though most enjoyable First day of uh, my Tucson visit, though. I really wasn't planning on doing anything today except getting a few groceries and uh, plan for uh, when and where I was going to go next. So I was on my way to get groceries and found out this was on the way to uh, Colossal Cave. I said, well, shoot, I'll go to Colossal Cave first, then hit the grocery store. So that's where I'm going next, grocery store. Alright, adventure continues.